the hadith says, and it comes to my mind now, يُقَالُ لِصَاحِبِ الْقُرْآنِ On the day of Qiyamah, a person who's made an effort to memorize and put into practice part of the Qur'an, if not all of it, it will be said to him, اِقْرَأْ وَارْتَقِ وَرَتِّلْ كَمَا كُنْتَ تُرَتِّلُ فِي الدُّنْيَا فَإِنَّ مَنْزِلَكَ عِنْدَ آخِرِ آيَةٍ تَقْرَأُوهَا Do you know what that means? Amazing! It says, the person will be told on the day of judgment, read, recite as you used to in the dunya. That's why I told you, read melodiously in the dunya, please. Because if you get to the akhirah, and you are one of those who, who just used to say dhalin in salah, then you will be from amongst the dhalin. Do you know what that means? There is an imam, they call him Sheikh Ferrari. Why Ferrari? Because, not because he comes from Harari, no. But because he reads so quick in taraweeh. Some people have a disease. They, they follow the masajid which are fast. Hey, that one finishes at 12 minutes past 9. No, this one's 10 past 9. Hey, this one's 8 minutes past 9. A'udhu billah. Is that how you're treating the Quran? Wallahi, the people who look at the clock are far away from the Quran. They are far away from Allah. You need to look at the quality, the raha. This is the word of Allah. How dare, how dare you want to look at the clock? Allahu Akbar. May Allah forgive us. So this man, you only hear him. He says, Allahu Akbar. You hear him say that. And after a while, Alhamdulillah. That's the only thing you hear is Dalin. So I say he is Minat Dalin. He's from amongst those who are astray. What is the meaning of Dalin? It's the only word I heard. It means astray. So he's astray. Allahu Akbar. Allah forgive us. The Quran, if you read it melodiously, beautifully in the dunya, you will only be able to read on the day of judgment how you used to read whilst you were in the world. Kama kunta fi dunya. Read how you used to read in the dunya. Fa inna manzilak inda akhiri ayatin taqra'uha. You keep on going up as you read. One verse, one level. Second verse, next level. Third verse, next. And you keep on going up. And your final abode, your final status and place will be upon the last verse that you get to. Allahu Akbar. So now if you look at the explanation of that, it's quite deep. Where it's not only my memorization was strong and solid. What's the point of having, I don't make any mistakes in the whole Quran, cover to cover. But you're not practicing upon it, you know. So when it comes to what, in the first Surah Baqarah, it says, وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَارْكَعُوا مَعَ الرَّاكِعِينَ Neither did we do ruku' nor did we do salah, so we will get stuck at that verse. Stuck. Why? Because you didn't practice upon this verse. It's right at the beginning. Allahu Akbar, may Allah make it easy for us. This is the Quran. Beautiful words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you find topics changing as the rhythm changes. But here we are, we don't even know that. We haven't even made an effort. We don't even know what's going on. I hope and I pray we can change that. And this, these few words, I hope that they are words of motivation for you and I. I really hope and pray that there are words of motivation for you and I.